Hi Camp Penguin, I'm Kate the Chemist, and for today's experiment, we are going to investigate the secret message. Have fun! Hi everybody, I hope you had a wonderful week. I don't know about you, but mine was a little bit stressful. My students had their first online exam last night, which just like stresses me out. Um, so I was looking for something that was a little bit more comforting, a little bit more casual and relaxing. So I reached for my secret message experiment that I have in my big book of experiments. And for that one, what you need is some crayons. I highly recommend the darker colors. So I like to use my blues and my purples for this one. You're going to need a paintbrush, um, but if you don't have a paintbrush, you could use anything from like the back of a spoon to um, even just like some a stick you find outside. I mean, you could be really creative with this. Um, you're also going to need a spoon, okay, a small spoon. Uh, you're going to need a tablespoon itself, the measuring piece. You're going to need one tablespoon of water and two tablespoons of salt. And so you want the hottest water you can possibly get. So I just actually pop mine in my electric kettle really quickly. Um, so what we have there is our one tablespoon of water. Now what I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of salt to it. So you're actually going to need a lot of salt. It feels excessive, which it kind of is, but that's, that's the purpose. We're trying to make a super saturated solution here. So then what you're going to do is take your spoon and you're going to stir, stir, stir. And you're actually going to stir for a full minute. So I'm going to zip ahead here. So one minute. All right, one minute is up. So what you're going to do is take your spoon. Set it off to the side, you don't need that anymore. Now what you're gonna do is take your paintbrush and use your super saturated solution, which means you've got water with as much salt that could possibly be dissolved as possible. And you're gonna kind of scoop the salt up, if you will, just a little bit, like co really coat your paintbrush with it. And you can go ahead and draw out your secret message. And you can be as creative with this as you want. Um, the big thing is you wanna make sure you get as much of that salt on here as possible. Um, I am a terrible artist, um, but I have a lot of fun with this one, so it doesn't matter if you can draw well or not, or if you're creative or not, um, anybody can do this one. So it's just a way to have um, a little bit of stress relief in these crazy days. Um, so I am not actually going to tell you what mine is, and you will have to wait and see what it is. So go ahead and draw out your secret message, and then what you do is you actually set your page aside for a very long time. So your message has to completely dry. So all the water that you are now painting onto your piece of paper has to dry. So all the water is going to evaporate. And the process of evaporization is when you take a liquid and it takes some heat from the atmosphere. So right here, so it takes that heat and it goes from the liquid state to the gas state. And so that has to happen on every single water molecule that's on top of your paper. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because that's going to take a couple hours and then I will come back and tell you what you do once you have a perfectly dry secret message. Okay, it has been six long hours, but my paper has finally dried. So the most important thing is that when you pick up your paper, the back side of it, you're probably still gonna be able to see that it's like crinkled around a little bit, but it should not be wet at all. When you touch your paper, you shouldn't feel any moisture, and my, my paper is finally dry. So for the next step, what you do is you're gonna pick up your paper and you're actually gonna like brush as much of the salt off as that you possibly can. I find it to be easiest to like put this down on something. I use a little baking sheet here and then you rub your fingers around in a circular motion to get all of the salt, salt off of your paper. So this is going to take me a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and zoom the video ahead. Okay, so my hands are tired, but I am officially done decoding my message basically. Well, I guess removing the salt off of it. So now hopefully what you can see is that I just have my paper and all of the salt that you can actually feel and touch on the outside, I've pushed all of it off and it is now sitting here in my baking sheet. So you can see all that salt there. Well, maybe you can. Um, so now I get to do the fun part. But if you're actually doing a secret message, you can fold this up and give it to somebody and then it's all secretive and nobody knows what, uh, what it is. Um, and then whoever is going to receive the secret message, the way you decode it is you're going to use some crayons. So like I said before, I highly recommend the crayons that are darker colors. So I like my blues and my purples. Um, reds work well too, as long as they're the darker colors. I typically avoid my like brighter oranges. So today I'm going to use this like purpley color, I guess. Let's see what that looks like. And so again, this is going to take me a little bit of time, so I'll zoom ahead in the video. But basically, all I'm doing is rubbing this crayon back and forth 
across my piece of paper and eventually my secret message will be decoded. Okay, so when you're done, I always come over here and brush it off because now you're going to see like crayon remnants and salt pieces. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's like a purpley white uh, solid down there. Uh, anyway, once you are completely done and you've kind of brushed off your message, you can reveal what your secret message was. Um, I made a water molecule. So here's oxygen here at top, and then I have my hydrogen and another hydrogen down here. Um, so <laughs> if you have really good artistic skills and you're good with a paintbrush, then you might be able to come up with something maybe a little bit cooler than a water molecule. But for today, I just wanted to make a water molecule to remind you all to drink water, stay hydrated. I know you're all staying at home um, and staying very busy and preoccupied, but don't forget to take care of your health and your hydration levels. So take care of yourself. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot to explain the science. So <laughs> what happened here is you're going to brush the salt off of your paper, and what you're doing is you're actually removing the majority of the sodium chloride particles. But what you're actually doing is only removing the things that we can see, the macroscopic ones. The microscopic, those teeny tiny little sodium chloride particles are actually absorbed within these paper fibers. So when you run a crayon over that, what happens is the sodium chloride or the salt particles grab onto that wet more so than this flat piece of paper does. And so what we're seeing is the attraction between the wax, which is nonpolar, and the salt itself, which is polar. And so it gets like stuck up on itself. So I love these secret messages because for one of the first times ever, you get to kind of force something that is polar and nonpolar to be together. Drink water. <laughs>